President of India has appointed P.C. Ghosh as the first Lokpal of India. P.C. Ghosh, who is a retired Supreme Court judge, will head an eight-member Lokpal panel. This panel constitutes uh, judicial, uh, four judicial and four non-judicial members. Appointments were recommended by the Prime Minister of India and uh, he led a selection committee which made these appointments. And this comes after the top court asked the government about the need for a mechanism to deal with corruption complaints. Well, so India's first Lokpal uh, now announced P.C. Ghosh will be the India's first Lokpal. Four judicial members will be there in the Lokpal panel and four non-judicial members as well. This decision was taken by a selection committee headed by the Prime Minister of India. Minakshi Vanja joining us on the phone line. Minakshi, this is a big leap of faith. It's a major milestone. The first Lokpal has been announced. Give us the implications of it all, uh, given the timing that it has come in. Well, uh, that's right, Afrida. Uh, interestingly, you know, even this appointment uh, will be reminded uh, because of the intervention of the Supreme Court. Because remember, there was a PIL that has uh, been pending in the Supreme Court for a fairly uh, a long period of time. And it was only because the Supreme Court has cracked the whip uh, on the present dispensation on this one uh, that we saw the entire process be expedited because particularly uh, significant here was this. Uh, the Supreme Court uh, then went on to impose a February uh, deadline uh, for everybody concerned to meet up uh, to at least shortlist and uh, finalize uh, the candidates uh, for uh, the position of Sokpal. And of course, you've seen uh, the meeting which was called uh, the selection panel meeting uh, that was called in which the leader of opposition, Malik Arjun Kharge, uh, did not attend. And subsequent to that, uh, of course, the shortlisted names were taken up. And then we saw uh, this announcement um, being formalized or finalized last evening. Yes. But of course, uh, we had an understanding, Afrida, you'll recall that uh, a decision to this effect had been taken uh, perhaps as early as Sunday. Right. But like you said, it has taken the Supreme Court's intervention, strong intervention for this to happen. Thanks very much, Minakshi, for joining us with your inputs on it.